Hey everyone, it's Brandy and welcome back to my channel, Brandy Janae's Book Show. Today I'm here to do a first impressions of 10 Count Volume 1 by Rahito Takarai. <music> So this story is following this character named Cheryl Tani who is a corporate secretary and he is a germaphobe and he has OCD as well and at the beginning of this we're following him as he is with his boss and his boss ends up getting into an accident which through that he ends up meeting Karose, Karose, I'm not sure how to say that exactly. And he suggests that Shirotani actually goes to seek help for his condition. Of course, Shirotani is not trying to hear it at all. But then after thinking about it for a little bit, he decides to go seek help. And it turns out that Karosi is a counselor or therapist at the clinic that uh, Shirotani goes to to seek help. And he ends up agreeing to help him outside of the office in this first volume we're following them as Cheryl Tani is going through those first steps to try to get better but things start to get a little weird when Cheryl Tani starts to develop feelings for Karosi. I say his name different every time sorry. This is another series that I honestly didn't know anything about when I picked it up. This kept popping up in my Amazon recommendations whenever I was looking at manga and stuff. This one for whatever reason kept popping up and it's kind of surprising. Honestly I don't even remember why I picked it up but I was just like you know what I've seen this being rec recommended to me so many times. I'm just going to try it out. And I'm kind of upset that I only got the first volume. For this first volume, I'm giving it four stars. So like I said, we're following Cheryl Tani as he's trying to work through with a therapist his condition and trying to get better. He's never thought about living any other type of way. But after hearing from Kurosi that first time, he decides that he wants to live like any normal person could. So that's why he decides to seek out help. One of the things that I've really enjoyed about this is that it's very clear that as Cheryl Tani is seeking help, that it is a process. Everything isn't instantaneous. And it's just shown clearly that there are good days and bad days. And although you're making progress, there are times where you're not going to be able to do something that you might have been able to do like last week or something like that. So I appreciated that that was made very clear. Another thing that I appreciated but was also frustrating on the other end was the fact that um, Karosu kind of had to tell Shirotani like, hey, you can't completely rely on just me. But I think the, the reason why he told him that was frustrating. I, I appreciated the story for what it was. And I feel like this could possibly be a new favorite. I feel like I say that a lot, but depending on how this goes, this could be a favorite of mine. Looking it up, I did find out that this is only six volumes. So as soon as I'm able, I think that I'm going to get the rest of the series and binge it because I'm like, I want to know what goes on that much. As of right now, four stars. I really enjoyed this. Let me know if this is something that you guys would be interested in reading if you haven't already. And if you have, let me know what you thought about this and how the rest of the series was. But that's all I have for now in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like to see more from me, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye.